My brothers and sisters in Christ, great to be with all of you today at this uh, uh, liturgy uh, to celebrate the Christian Service Awards. The awards are, as we all know, about service, about your service to God and to his people. So we are here to honor that service, to honor your witness to Jesus Christ. So congratulations to you all. You are an inspiration to all of us. But today we also celebrate the uh, inauguration of our new Pope, Pope Francis. which is a moment of grace and of joy for the Universal Church. We have a nice picture of him right here. I was saying this Sunday that uh, the uh, marketing of the uh, Vatican is doing well. They got a big uh, picture of the Pope in Los Angeles. Uh, it is a really beautiful moment for the life of the Church. Uh, it seems to me that we are very, very happy with the election of the new Pope. Um, and today in Rome, uh, the Pope, Pope Francis, celebrated his inaugural Mass. So it's a beautiful coincidence that we are together celebrating Mass, uh, thinking of uh, what our church uh, is celebrating the inauguration of the Pope and what that means is service. I think we are uh, uh, thinking of the new Pope and uh, it is very special because uh, he is uh, the first Latin American Pope, the first Pope from the American continent, um, which is a, a beautiful sign of the importance of the Catholic Church in this continent. Pope John Paul II and Pope Benedict, they all talked about how this continent is the continent of hope. So that gives us a lot of, uh, in the one side, a lot of joy, because we know that we are here and that we are active participants in the life of the church. And at the same time, it gives us a big responsibility, because really the Catholic Church depends on us, on each one of us. The Universal Church depends on the uh, uh, um, uh, faithfulness of the Church in the American continent. We are learning little things about the Pope. Uh, we know that he is from Argentina, uh, and we know that uh, his parents were immigrants to Argentina from Italy. Um, he is the son of a humble immigrant who grows to become the spiritual leader of more than a billion Catholics in every continent and nation. What a beautiful reality of what the human person, independently of uh, where we were born or where we are, can do for God and for society. Then it's also very interesting, I'm sure that you are happy with that, that he uh, selected the Pope, uh, his name as Francis. Uh, because uh, St. Francis of Assisi, who probably is the uh, church's most well-known saint after our Blessed Mother. For believers and non-believers, St. Francis has always been a symbol of the spirit of the gospel, of service. With his simple lifestyle, his humble service to the poor, his love for creation, his attitude of nonviolence and forgiveness, he has given us a beautiful example of how to be a good Christian, a good uh, a disciple of Jesus Christ. So it's a good moment to reflect on uh, the life and the example of St. Francis of Assisi, because that's our call too. Our call is a call to follow Jesus Christ or belonging to the Catholic Church, or uh, following the teachings of Jesus Christ, 
means that we are called to holiness and to serve one another, especially those that are most in need. So it's good to try to learn a little more about the life of uh, St. Francis of Assisi, his writings, because he has a lot to teach us about how to imitate our Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Father said, Pope Francis said that he decided that that name was good for him because he wanted the church to be a church of the poor and for the poor. So what a beautiful call for all of us at this time in our lives. A beautiful challenge that we really commit ourselves to serve God and one another. That's what the church is all about. Not about power or uh, other things that we can think of. And that's what our life is supposed to be. And that's what we are celebrating today. Service, love, faithfulness, commitment, and especially the beauty of being called to follow Jesus Christ. And today we also celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph, the Solemnity of St. Joseph. So I really wanted to talk to you about St. Francis of Assisi and St. Joseph, two beautiful examples of how to be a good Christian. Um, St. Joseph, as we know, um, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, spouse of Mary, our Blessed Mother. For me, he has a special meaning because that's my name, so it's easy to relate to him because when I think of my name, I think of St. Joseph. By the way, Jose means Joseph in English. <laughs> St. Joseph's life was one of singular love and service to God. We heard that in our, we heard that in our gospel reading this morning. It is interesting that in the Gospels, in all the Gospels, St. Joseph never speaks. Not even one word. He only acts. The messengers of God come to him. They tell him what God needs him to do, and he does it. As we hear in our Gospel today, when Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. From the, from the example of St. Joseph, we receive an invitation to serve, to act in the service of God and his people, to serve with faithfulness, with simplicity, and with humility. So my brothers and sisters, let us follow the example of St. Joseph. Let us do whatever God asks us to do, with love and with enthusiasm. If we have a spirit of love, it's like a fire. If you touch others with your love, you will set them on fire with the same love of God. What a beautiful responsibility we have, the responsibility of changing the world. Instead of our selfishness, instead of just thinking about ourselves, and looking for material things. Our call as Christians, as Catholics, is to uh, bring the fire of the love of God to the people of our time, our society, to change lives for the good. So, congratulations, my dear young friends. We are proud of your witness to Jesus Christ and the mission of his church. Let us keep in mind, as we celebrate the election of the new pope, the example of St. Francis of Assisi and St. Joseph. And let us ask Our Lady of the Angels, our Blessed Mother, to help us all to follow our new Pope with love and obedience. And may we all become servants of one another and become servants of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.